In the young people of the world, there is an immense capacity for good, limitless potential to make a real and lasting difference. Young people fill me with hope. Hope that we can end poverty and grow prosperity. That we can end inequality and expand inclusion. That we can consign war and conflict to the dustbin of history. That we can win the race against climate change. The cynics say it can't be done. They say it's the dream of misty-eyed idealists. I say, hold tightly to your ideals. Idealism is a good thing. In fact, it's the best thing. So guard it, nurture it, don't ever lose it. I believe your generation can create a future of equality, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Your generation can change the world. I hope that you choose to do just that. So today our hearts break over the unfolding horror in Gaza. The slaughter, the starvation, the displacement, the bombing of schools and hospitals, families wiped out, millions driven from their homes. The horror of October 7th attacks and the hostage taking does not and cannot justify this onslaught. The Israeli slaughter of Gazan men, women and children is the sad, cruel crescendo of 76 years of occupation and apartheid. The suffering of Palestinians has gone on for generations. And, and know this, and this matters, Many of the most powerful voices calling for peace, for justice, for a ceasefire come from the Jewish community. Their call, their call is shaped by the unimaginable horror, the collective trauma of Holocaust inflicted on their people. In the name of humanity, they say never again, not to another people. But their demand of never again is drowned out by the thunderous sound of missiles raining down on children every single day. All their tomorrows gone. Gaza, the graveyard for children. And friends, leaders cannot continue to look the other way, cannot continue to arm and to fund an Israel that acts with impunity. We need an immediate ceasefire. We need a ceasefire now, the return of all hostages, and the renewal of a peace process grounded firmly in international law. Palestine must be free. Peace is the only way that the children of Gaza and Tel Aviv, of Haifa and Ramallah, can have the future that they deserve. Shia Khan. Shia Khan is the Irish word for peace. In Hebrew, it's shalom. In Arabic, it's salam. Whatever word you use, it means the same thing. Peace is a choice. Peace is a decision. And peace must now be the will of the international community. Young people across the world, of all backgrounds and races, of all faiths and none are now standing together against war crimes. And the world must listen to the voices of the young because this generation is right.